Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thanks for watching. In this video, I'm going to show Microsoft Teams ServiceNow Incident Management um, working together. So in this situation, we are not going to be in a workspace. We're just going to be looking at an incident record on the normal classic UI. I don't know if it's classic anymore. Um, and we're going to start a Microsoft Teams chat. So in theory, you know, you're coming in here to troubleshoot a ticket and you realize in this case, Abraham Lincoln, uh, haha, his uh, internet is down and uh, we need to reach out to him uh, through Microsoft Teams. Now, uh, sorry for the poor story background because if his internet's down, obviously you wouldn't be able to reach out on Teams, but uh, for the sake of the demo, I just wanted to show that working. So left-hand side over here, I've got ServiceNow. I'm logged in as myself. Uh, right-hand side, just behind my head here, I've got Microsoft Teams and a web browser. Yes, I know no one uses a web browser for Teams, but um, it helps me not interrupt my corporate or a company's instance. Um, and I'm logged in as Abraham Lincoln. So Abe Lincoln over here, he's a big Teams user, and uh, he's over here waiting for someone to help him with his incident. So I'm gonna get started and just call your attention to this big old button here, Start Microsoft Teams Chat. So that's how we're gonna initiate this conversation with Abraham Lincoln. Now, when we do this, ServiceNow brings up some configuration, right? So I want to add Abraham Lincoln. Maybe I want to add the person who um, put in the ticket, right? Who actually created the ticket. Or I can go just find somebody else. So I, maybe we want uh, George Washington to be part of this. So we can say, hey, okay, okay let's add George Washington um, to this conversation. Now I'm going to pull him out because he's not really, um, that email address is bogus, but um, you can pull other people into these conversations. And then note, you can specify the chat title, the opening message, you know, what they see when that chat begins, and then the preferred chat client. Do we want to do this in the desktop app or do you want to do this in the web app? Web app is huge for me to demo just for the reasons I just gave, um, but for most people, they're probably going to use the desktop application. But we'll do web client and we'll start the chat and see what this looks like. Here it's um, basically it's creating a conversation um, in Microsoft Teams. You can see it just happened behind me. The chat came up here and just behind my head, there's this little alert that came through on the web app. It's a little um, toast card uh, letting me know that there's a chat for um, Abraham Lincoln inside of Microsoft Teams. Now, what happened on the left hand side is Microsoft Teams opened up as a new tab outside of ServiceNow. So I am logged in as Justin on the left hand side and I am logged in as Abraham Lincoln on the right hand side. So um, don't let the web browsers confuse you, but we'll go ahead and click on this chat um, that's coming in from Justin Meadows and we'll just say, this is Abe Lincoln. Uh, Abe here, please help. Now notice, now you can actually see Abraham Lincoln is typing on the left hand side, uh, just like you would in Teams normal experience. And then I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and send that message and we can see that that particular, I didn't mean to do that, that that particular message went through, Abe here, please help, and you can have the back and forth between uh, Justin and Abraham Lincoln. What's happening behind me is I have a keyboard uh, shortcut for changing my uh, cursors and stuff like that, and it's triggering something in Teams, so I need to fix uh, whatever that is that's triggering that. But this is how you can um, have a back and forth coming from ServiceNow, and what's gonna happen is that the conversation back and forth is um, going to actually be stored in service now so we'll have access to that I'm here to help and we'll just do that there and hit send and now I have a conversation history a message to Abe a message from Abe and a message back to Abe so let's see what that looks like in service now now uh, I'll go ahead and make this bigger and I want to basically see that conversation so notice in the activity log I've got um, an interactive uh, work note here. So one is that I started a Microsoft Teams chat with Abraham Lincoln. Um, it was created, the messages will be auto imported by the system on behalf of Justin. And then we can find the chat record here, or we can use these buttons to actually view the chat in Teams uh, through the web or through the desktop client. But let's click on this transcript and see if we can see that back and forth that happened between myself and Abraham Lincoln. So I'm not seeing anything here. Um, and I bet you, you know what it is. I bet you I don't have the job turned on to do that import of those messages, but um, we would see that. I need to fix that. Okay, I went off on a little tangent trying to figure out why that wasn't pulling in automatically when I clicked on this link. And I think I might have found something when I was looking at some of the configuration um, that I need to close this or resolve this. So I'm just going to hit resolve on this. We'll put in some resolution notes. We'll just say resolve by caller. Abe restarted uh, his internet router. <laughs> 
still makes me smile every time I think about Abraham Lincoln restarting his internet router and hit resolve. And uh, that will uh, resolve that particular one. And it looks like I got kicked out um, to the last thing I was troubleshooting. So let's head back uh, to the home page of service now. And I'm gonna open up that um, uh, history to come back to that incident. So let's see here, internet is down in my history. And what I wanna see is when I click on that work note now, do I have the chat history between me and Abraham Lincoln? So I'll click on this record here and I uh, still don't have it. Still don't have it. What is going on? Let me try changing that to close. Let's just close the incident. See if that flags it for import. And of course it brought me back to that again. Um, so let's just get out to the home page. Oh, there it was. Okay, that's what it was. So um, the closing of the incident is what brought in automatically imported the conversation. So there you saw it, you figured it out, we figured it out live. Um, so once I had resolved and then closed the um, ticket for Abraham Lincoln, then my chat log came in here and I can see um, that this was the back and forth between me and Abraham Lincoln. So interesting fact there that we had to close it in order for that to be automatically imported. I'm wondering, um, and I'll maybe do some investigating later if this is something that's configurable, but um, for now, that is the Teams integration, at least the starting a chat and having that come back into the ticket so you have a record of that as part of that conversation. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody you think might be interested. Until next time, I'll see you on the next one.